So this video is going to look at Piaget's theory of cognitive development. Now, on your specification, it states you've got to understand Piaget's theory of cognitive development, assimilation, and accommodation. So we'll go through all those key ideas in this particular video. Now, regarding cognitive development, this is how thinking, knowledge, and intelligence change as we get older. Whenever you see the word cognitive in one of these videos, you can also think of it as thinking. They're interchangeable, those two terms. So cognitive development just means how our thinking develops. Now, before Piaget, people believed that children were basically the same as adults. They just knew less information. Then Piaget came along and said children think in a very different way to adults. And that's what we're going to look at in this particular video. So the first thing was that Piaget said children were not able to think logically about the world, that their brains weren't mature enough to do that. And as they got older, their brain starts to develop and their thinking starts to become more and more sophisticated. Now, there are four different stages of learning that Piaget talked about, and we're going to learn them in another video later in this topic. He also talked about schemas. Now, we've previously learned about schemas in the memory unit, and Piaget described how children learn new information. The older they become, the more complex their understanding is. Now, schemas are how we store our understanding of the world. They're sort of a mental structure containing all of the different information we have. So in lessons, we usually use the Christmas example. You talk about all those things you relate to the word Christmas. That's our schema for Christmas. Now, we're born with a very small number of schemas, things like grasping. Or, um, and as we develop and get older, these become more and more complex and we develop more and more schemas. Now, Piaget talked about an idea of assimilation regarding schemas. So let's take a child schema for a car. They might think a car's red, people get inside it, it makes a noise and it moves. And then one day it sees a blue car, a little sports car that only two people can get inside. Now this would be an example of assimilation. They're understanding a new experience, they've seen this blue car, and they're adding this information to their existing schema. So this new information doesn't radically change our understanding, People can still get inside, it still makes a similar noise, it moves in a similar way, but we're adding to our schema. That would be an example of assimilation. Now, another example might be a baby is assimilating when it's using a grasping schema for every object. So as it goes to pick up an object, it's grasping with that one hand, picking everything up with that one hand. Um, and it does that every time it tries to reach for something. Now, the other concept Piaget came up with was accommodation. Now, next, a child, the same child, gets to ride a tractor. Now, this is similar to a car, but it's different. It's got larger wheels. It makes a much different noise to a car. Now, accommodation happens when a schema is changed to take account of new information. So sometimes new schemas are formed um, or existing ones have to be altered. So... This child here may have to make a whole new schema for a tractor. They've got a car schema. Now they have a tractor schema as well. They've created a whole new schema. So another example of accommodation would be first time ever that a baby's given a ball. So their grasping schema, that thing they're born with, how to grab something um, of using one hand might not work with the ball. And the baby may have to accommodate that by developing a new schema. They might need to create a whole new schema to hold a ball. Um, involving using both of their hands. So that's the difference between accommodation and assimilation. 